Welcome back, welcome back. So look, it's been a month. We haven't posted, but we're back. Updates, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what's been going on. Um, it's been a lot going on since we haven't posted in one month. As you know, you guys know, some of you guys follow us on Instagram. Uh, about a month, month and a half ago, two months ago, we were into a car wreck with the Skyline. That's one thing. We also got Jay Fresh's Miata started up, uh, ready. We just need to get that, obviously, bass tune. Um, and then we ordered a lot of parts for the SRT4. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a parts video for the SRT4 explaining what we have now, what we still need. Yeah, so we're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know right now. Put a lot of effort into this. I got dream parts that I've always wanted, so that's pretty dope. I'm gonna see how this goes. So here, as you guys can see, we have the transmission mount. The transmission mount on my SRT4 now was shot. Um, we have both, you know, solid mounts that hold the engine and make sure that, you know, you don't have a raggedy takeoff. So we have these two AGP um, solid mounts. We also have a tile wastegate. AGP was nice enough to send us a agpturbo.com license plate holder. It's pretty dope. We'll be, we'll be putting that on the car. Now, one thing that I'm always proud about is injectors. Growing up, injectors and stuff like this was something that we really couldn't afford at that time. And as we got older, we made a way. So, here we are. Go ahead and show you these. These are the 750cc. Detroit injectors for those who don't know. So they gave us a cool sticker as you guys can see. Um, I like how they put the injectors. They don't just throw them in the box. They actually put them in uh, plastic. And I like that because I guess, you know, for me it makes me feel like they're more safe than just being open in the box. They also sent us some lubricants to put around them in grease. So this is pretty dope. We got the 750. CC injectors now with these um, I was going for about 450 to 500 horsepower and these need to be a thousand CC or 1400 so this is one of the items that I did make a mistake on when I ordered um, but it's okay because like I said I'm gonna ride it out on the 750 for a while and I'm gonna go ahead and um, obviously you know get a tune drive it like this on these for a while and then I'm gonna go ahead and order the 1400 CC injectors and another mistake that I made when I ordered the fuel pump was I ordered a 250 fuel pump and I really need a 450 fuel pump to do all the power that I want to do. So these were the two mistakes that I made ordering all the parts. But all in all, I'm very happy. Um, definitely want to work with some of these companies in the future. Most definitely with all these companies in the future. Um, yeah, oh, this is another thing that I'm very, 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 very happy about. This right here has been something that I've always wanted to get. Just the Diablo Sport. Brand new. Shout out to Diablo Sport, the Trinity EX. So, you know, we're going to make sure that, that the car has a good, reliable tune. And that it can take everything that's thrown at it. Now, let's move over here. We have, a, you know, some parts from Mopar. This is a three-bar map sensor. Here, um, we got some hoses that you guys can see from the big turbo kits. I ended up going with the, the big turbo kit from AGP, as you guys can see here with the manifold. AGP manifold. Uh, we got a Bog Warner turbo, big turbo for the SRT4. We got some vibrant clamps these are really good clamps we always like the good clamps the clamp game always got to be strong um now this manifold i like this manifold because as you guys know on my um, miata i did not go with cast iron i wanted to try out cx racing 
to see if they were shitty or they were good. Um, but all in all, cast iron is better, more reliable, lasts longer overall. So we went ahead and we went with the cast iron. You guys can see it's pretty nice, it's heavy. Everything's clean, they sent it to me all clean. Now, this is the wastegate dump tube. And this would be, I believe this is the downpipe. Yeah, I believe this is the, this is the downpipe. And that looks pretty dope. I like the wells on that. So it's good to get solid products. Um, now let's really dive into this big turbo. Let's talk about this big turbo. Because this is one of the things that I've always really wanted to have is big turbo. Um, always wanted to build my SRT4 to be, you know, fast and be able to move how it needs to move. So I'll say this about AGP. I do like the way that they wrap the turbo, they wrap everything up. Um, it got here safe and nothing was damaged whatsoever. Um, I'm just overall happy about how it came in. It's very heavy. Let's see. It's a very heavy turbo setup. Now, I ordered an intercooler, and to be honest with you guys, this is my first time getting the big intercooler. My last SRT4 didn't have a big intercooler, so this intercooler is like huge. As you guys can see, it's massive. It's gonna be giving us, you know, good results, good results. I also went with the, like I said, aluminum radiator in this. We have the silicone hoses for the radiator for the top and bottom. Um, and this black box here. And this is all the lines for the turbo setup and the things that I'm gonna need when we put the turbo setup on. I also ordered a, I ordered a um, alternator because my alternator obviously was very old. So I wanted this car to be able to get everything new possible. So I went ahead and ordered an alternator. I also got a condenser for the AC because the condenser was very old. And yeah, here are some parts that we got in from the SRT4. We still have a few more parts to order. So we still have a few more parts to order. Um, I need a fuel rail. I need fuel regulator. I want to get my valve cover and intake manifold. I want to get that powder coated. And I'm not sure. I might need a subframe. I'm hoping I don't. I don't want to buy a subframe. I mean, geez. But if I do, you already know we got to handle what we got to handle. We don't want no raggedy shit on our cars. We want high performance, good quality, long lasting. Um, one thing I can say is shout out to AGP because they did get this kit fast. I ordered and they got it here within about a week. Everything came um, from also Modern Performance in a week. No longer than that, came to the door, box wasn't open, nothing, like I said, nothing was damaged. So I really appreciate them for doing that. You know, stuff, people always get their stuff damaged in the mail, so it's good not to really go through those type of experiences when you're ordering expensive things. I also want to see what this car is gonna max out at on this current setup that we have in front of us. Like I said, the 750cc injectors will not be there long, maybe about three or four months. Um, same thing with this fuel pump, 250. Um, we'll be upgrading to a 1400cc and 450 fuel pump that we have coming for you guys. I want suspension for the car. I want to do like a little more, like I want to make this car more like show and nice. So repaint, coilovers, you guys know, just whole works. Nothing wide body, nothing crazy. Just want to keep this car freeway warrior, able to prov uh, provide me power when I need it, fun car little weekend splash or dasher on the on the freeway so what i'm gonna need for you guys to do i'm gonna need you guys to hit that like button drop a comment and subscribe we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers it's been a while now we haven't posted because we've been very busy we have a lot of other projects um in the background that we're working on as a team 
So we appreciate you guys bearing with us, but we do have this video coming for you guys and I wanted to go ahead and get this out so you guys can see all the dope parts that we have on the way for the SRT4. And I hope you guys didn't think that, you know, we wasn't gonna bring this SRT4 back better than ever because that's really what our whole goal is with every car we own, is to, is to revamp the car and bring it back a thousand times better, <laughs> a thousand times better performance on the car. So that's what we're here to do. It's Creative Garage, the team who does it best. Like I said, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. Another thing is, is we did a video about like a week ago, and I dropped off the motor at Insane Power. And you guys didn't get to see that because the footage got corrupted somehow. And honestly, this is the first time that our footage has ever got corrupted, so it kind of upset me a little bit because it was a really good video. Um, I got to show you guys really, you know, that experience and how dope Insane Power is and, you know, how they show us so much love every time we drop off anything that we need done. Um, I just wanted to come outside so I could show you guys Jay Fresh's car. Yes, sir. My boy Jay Fresh. He back in action. He is back in action. Drift. Missile. Well, I'm not going to say a missile because it's still a pretty clean Miata. Drift car is back. Yeah, so that experience had me kind of like upset for like two days. I was upset that the, the film, uh, the footage got, you know, messed up. But we are back. We are better. This is a new video. I am doing this off the iPhone, if you guys are wondering. The GoPro kind of scares me because it does this, this little glitch shit that we can't afford to be happening when we're doing quality content and trying to bring you guys quality content. So I appreciate you guys bearing with us again. Like I said, you guys drop a like, drop a comment and let us know in the comments where you're from um what you like about our videos what you think we could work on because that's always important as we're trying to grow and get better at content creating for you guys like i said a lot of what we've been doing has been off of the bare minimum iphone older gopros we haven't really got a camera because we've been putting our time into um getting more parts you know parts are very expensive we've been waiting for a lot of parts that's in the mail for months so we have to get a camera. That's what we need to do. That needs to be next on our list is get a camera. Um, I've just been trying to finish up these bills because I'm eager to drive both cars the way I want to. I drive the Miata whenever I want, um, but it's not fully tuned. It's on the base tune. So I don't want to do too much in that car. I really can't be going into boost like that because, again, it's not tuned. It's base tuned. So I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Stay blessed. Y'all have uh, great holidays and stay out of trouble. And this is the team that does it best, it's Creative Garage.